Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is November 13th and Samsung finally pushed off the official launch of Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 here in the United States for the Galaxy S23 series. So if you've been following along with the videos and these updates, the Galaxy S23 series has gone through nine betas in terms of Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. The official launch was pushed off earlier to other countries. The United States was falling behind waiting for this update and here it is finally pushed out. The reason why is because I'm finally getting that official software version ending in BWK4 and it's just thanking us for the participation in Samsung One UI beta program and just letting us know that there's no more releases of any new beta software versions. They're no longer going to provide any official reply to your opinions and beta feedback usage will be stopped. You'll not be able to see reviews, suggestions, tips, uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, this is done. The official launch is pushed off in the United States if we are getting this now. And if you were a part of the beta program, you went all the way through beta nine of all the updates. The size of update will be right around 409 megabytes. If you are never a part of the beta program, you're waiting for the official launch of the software version, which again ends in BK or BWK4 your update size will be right around three gigs. So along with that three gig update that you'll be able to see, the other thing that you'll be able to see for the first time is gonna be this spot right here, which is talk about app updates. If there's particular applications that you like their versions right now, you could probably keep them or at least turn off the update and then you can go through it manually. But because you're going through a major you know, OS update, you might as well just keep everything turned on and just do the update as normal. And then as you go through your month to month updates, you can actually go through individually and turn off some of those if there is something that you currently love and then you might want to go through and update them manually yourself. So this update was pushed out today to the Galaxy S23 series. Now you might be wondering what's going on over here. So when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 5, they're also a part of the One UI 6 beta program. This beta program is actually beta 5 and it ends in ZWJH just in case if you're curious on where they're at with the flips and the folds. They're talking about a few of the different known issues. This update was pushed off just about three or four days ago, but I wanted to throw it in with this video. This size here is at 802 megabytes, giving you that November 1st patch. And this one over here is also giving you that November 1st patch as well. So we're just going to go through, get this thing installed. I wanted to make sure that I made a official video for you guys that it's now finally here. Even though it was already released in other countries, the United States was lagging and lingering behind and now we finally have it. So what I'm gonna do is after this update, I'm just gonna go through a few of different applications and services from Samsung to see if there's any newer versions, you know, such as the home, the camera, and the gallery. And then we'll take a look at the November 1st patch notes from Samsung, the mobile security side of it, to see what all was updated on the back end of everything. Now it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if your brand's new here at the Child Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, if you are curious on all of the features I've changed, or at least the top features I have changed along the way that's giving you Samsung One UI 6.0, I will be placing a few links below the video inside the description, taking you to my most popular videos, talking about all of the brand new features and some tips and tricks and such. More than likely, I will create more content around Samsung One UI 6.0 now that it's finally a part of my main viewing base here in the United States. So now that the update is done and complete, let's take a look at a few different Samsung applications and services. So the first one I usually like to look at is Samsung Home. This is just taking a look at all of the applications on the home screen, some of the animations and whatever. So basically before this update, it was 15001243. Looks like 15001243, so there's no needed change or update for Samsung Home. Then take a look at the Samsung camera. Before the update, this one was sitting at 14.00093. Looks like we're at the exact same version here, so no needed update for the camera. And then taking a look at the gallery. This one is gonna be sitting at, or used to be at 15.00039. This one's now at 15.00042. 
So this one does have a small little update when it comes down to the gallery. So now that you have the latest version of Samsung One UI 6.0, there's a few things that you're gonna wanna get used to and maybe know. The first one will be that brand new quick panel. So this is your brand new quick panel of all the different settings. You can get a different look and change this around a little bit when you change around your color palette. And also if you're using the GoodLock applications, there's a module you can use that can also change how many quick settings applications is showing up on the first page, second page, so on and so forth. One of the other really nice things you can do now as well is when you are charging your device, sometimes you already know it's being charged and you don't wanna have this notification sitting there. Beforehand, this would always be here. It's one that you cannot disregard or get rid of, but now you can actually just swipe it off. You're still charging your device, but you don't need to have that ongoing notification always on the top. Now, another cool thing you can do is something that's called two-hand mode. So with this one, you can actually press and hold. And instead of just trying to move something around, you're actually able to use either two fingers or two hands. So it doesn't have to be two hands. You can actually just use two fingers if this makes it a little bit easier for you to move something around. The other thing, again, if you wanted to move an image, let's say that you take this little picture that's right here and you kind of have it floating around, you can actually swipe up. You can put it over inside of text messages. You can put it inside of, you know, notes. And so if you want to add something brand new, you can place it right there. So you have two hand mode. It really helps with a whole bunch of different things. You can do it between my files. You can do it just by moving applications around. Instead of you having, again, just to swipe it to the edge, this just makes it so much easier and faster to do. Now, again, if you want to take a look at a bunch of other different really cool features that's brand new, I'll link that below the video inside the description and also make it a pinned comment below this video. And then lastly, let's take a look from the Samsung mobile security side of things on what has been updated and also from the team of Google. So you'd be able to go inside of here. We're going to choose it on the Samsung side of it. Here's the Samsung mobile security notes and patch notes for November. November. The very top section is from the Google patches. So there is one, two, three, four, five of them that are critical. There's about 62 or 56 of them that are high. That's pretty much how much there is anytime it's this long. You also have moderate basically at none. And then below that, all of these ones here are from the Samsung vulnerabilities and exposure. So all of these that are SVE, these are all from the Samsung side of it. So it's not going to have 60 some of these updates. This one's actually just sitting at right around 13. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 on the Samsung side of things when it comes down to vulnerabilities and fixes. Some of them are at a severity of high, and then some of them are at a severity of moderate. So this is pretty much all the back end of things that you probably don't ever see or ever find if you take a look at different application versions, but there are little vulner vulnerabilities and bugs that were able to be fixed and patched here for November 1st. So hopefully you appreciated this video. I want to make sure that we finally made it official here in the United States. I know everybody has been waiting. This has already been pushed off to several other countries. It's been out there for a good week, maybe two for other people. And here we are. It is now here in the United States because it is officially pushed off. That was the official software version that we're now running. My update was right around 409 megabytes. Yours, if you were not a part of the beta program, will be sitting right around three gigs. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. And if you also want to make sure you learn more, I'm placing links below this video inside the description to watch those other videos, to learn all the brand new tips, tricks, and features. But again, give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.